Hi, welcome back uh, to my channel. So this is an exciting episode for me because I waited uh, to do this uh, for a long time. Uh, so I'm going to show how to use the HRF uh, combined with uh, an amplifier, the QRP Labs uh, 10 watts amplifier. It's a kit uh, uh, that costs about $22 uh, to produce uh, an HF uh, transmission using the HRF on the 14 megahertz 20 meters uh, ham radio band. And I also have a low pass filter to clean out uh, the harmonics here. This costs about, I think, $4, also for Q from QRP Labs. So basically the extension compared to the pure HRF is uh, under $30 and uh, the results are quite cool, as you will see. So the setup I have at the moment is the following. The HRF is emitting, is going to emit, at the moment is not emitting. Uh, it's going into this coupler. This coupler will take a little portion of the input, uh, 20 dB down, and send it uh, to my oscilloscope uh, to, uh, to have a look. But uh, basically the input is going uh, to this transformer here, uh, this little toroid, and then it's going inside the amplifier. The amplifier is uh, going to amplify the signal, then uh, there is the low pass filter, and basically here we would have the antenna. Instead of an antenna, you have a dummy load here, or rather an attenuator. It attenuates the signal by 50 dBm, and we can look uh, at it uh, with the spectrum analyzer. So the spectrum analyzer, I can show it to you more clearly, and it's going to stay there. So um, we are going to emit at 14 megahertz, as I said, where, uh, where is the center uh, frequency at the moment. And um, I have these two lines here, and basically what they're going to do is measure the output power uh, contained in this, uh, in this range of frequencies, okay? So we can see what is actually the power emitted by the HRF in the, in the basically segment of frequency spectrum that uh, we want um, actually to have it. Yeah, by the way, one uh, quick remark here about uh, the use of this transformer. It is important because the impedance of this amplifier is not 50 ohm, and the HRF uh, needs to see a proper 50 ohm impedance because uh, the output stage is very delicate. So the, uh, in one of my previous video, I discussed another solution that is to, to use a resistor in parallel with the input to improve, uh, I mean, to, to set the impedance to 50 ohm, but that has the, mm, basically the negative aspect of reducing the gain of the amplifier. Instead here with uh, this transformer, the gain is preserved uh, and we get uh, a good uh, uh, impedance at the desired 14 megahertz. Let me actually show you very quickly. Uh, yes, using this uh, nano VNA. Um, so I'm going to connect the nano VNA just before this transformer so we can see the input impedance of the amplifier um, so I'm not going to zoom uh, too much but as you can see it has a very good response at a certain frequency and a terrible response at uh, other frequency here we are uh, minus 21 dBm of return loss so it's an next so let me actually have a look uh, in terms of SWR uh, that could be interesting um, so format uh, SWR, so it's 1.18 SWR. Uh, so the, the point in any way is that, let me uh, get back to LogMag. Uh, the point is that with uh, this transformer solution, you can get uh, an excellent uh, input impedance at a specific frequency. You cannot uh, get, at least the way I tried, you cannot get uh, a flat uh, 50 ohm uh, input impedance. But okay, for this test, uh, that's perfect because we can get all the power of the amplifier so okay um, so we are basically set up here um, right to emit I'm going to use uh, um, SDR angel that you have uh, I have here so actually let me move it uh, here so you can also see the um, spectrum analyzer or, or rather maybe I can show it there so you can see the little things here. And uh, SDR Angel at the moment, uh, let's, let me, let, is going to emit just a tone, okay? Uh, modulated in AM, as you can see, at uh, 14 megahertz. So it's going to emit basically a, a 670 hertz tone modulated by a, at uh, AM at uh, this uh, frequency. Okay, so I think I'm ready. Uh, let me just triple check everything. And uh, I 
can start. Okay, so we are emitting. Uh, as you can see, uh, the response on the spectrum analyzer. We are producing at the moment a total of uh, about uh, 10 dBm. Uh, so uh, the power emitting on this uh, on this area, basically, you can see up there on the on the left side, it's, uh, it says about uh, 10 dBm. And I can increase it uh, using um, this gain. So let me take it up to the maximum so we can have a look. And at the maximum, it's reading basically 39.9, 30, between 39 and 40. So that's uh, 10 watts, basically. So let me take it down a little bit. Uh, so it's indeed uh, uh, outputting at 10 watts which is uh, great and um, and so let me try to hear it actually so let me disable now this uh, uh, power measurement for a second so um, let me disable the measurement okay uh, so what is we are in zero span at the moment so let me go to 100 kilohertz okay so this is the situation that we have at the moment um, right, so this uh, spectrum analyzer has uh, this uh, interesting thing that I can demodulate AM signals. So let me do that. And as you can see, um, well, the way it works is that it demodulates for alpha second and then it sweeps again the spectrum. So that's why you hear this intermittent signal. But if I go into zero span, we can just hear the real signal. And it is the tone. Uh, um, emitted by um, SDR Angel. If I change here the tone, for example, a bit higher, as you can see here, we get the response. Uh, so we are actually really emitting um, as expected. And um, yeah, let me go back around 800 hertz. Um, so I stopped that because it's a bit annoying. I'm going instead uh, to produce uh, um, a Morse code. So with SD Angel, I can click here and send uh, this message in Morse code at a given speed. So 13 words uh, per minute at the moment. So I hope uh, you can see uh, here, uh, the spectrum analyzer is decoding this SMS, uh, sorry, Morse code uh, message. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, let me actually increase again uh, the power. Uh, so let's try again at the maximal power. Where is it? SDR Angel. Um, so let me act just a sec. Okay, SDR Angel is there. Let me mount the power again. Okay. We are uh, emitting a CW message at 10 watts with the HRF, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let me go down uh, a little bit uh, in power again. And uh, let's stop, uh, oh, actually let's leave this uh, CW message. No, actually let me replace it again with uh, just a tone because it is a, it, it emits basically a constant power. It's, it's easier to, um, to analyze things, but I'm going to uh, stop now the demodulation here, the spectrum analyzer, because the sound is terrible. Uh, okay, so off. So let me put again uh, the span to 100 kilohertz. And um, yeah, so that's it. Yeah, uh, so I forgot to, to mention an important thing. So uh, I'm going now to check how clean uh, the signal that we are producing uh, is. Okay, so it's true that we can produce this uh, 10 watts uh, signal, but how clean it is. And it's actually very, very clean. So at the moment, uh, um, as you can see, as the Angel is emitting this uh, single tone uh, um, signal at 14 megahertz, emitting a tone of one kilohertz. And at the moment, the power is, uh, as you can see there, about 20 dBm. Uh, so let me increase it uh, to the maximum. And we know that we are going to reach about 10 watts, 40 dBm. So let me uh, increase the power. Uh, indeed, we are at uh, the line of 40 dBm, which means uh, 
uh, 10 watts and as you can see there are absolutely no harmonics so it's uh, it's really extremely clean uh, the low pass filter of QRP labs is working fantastically well so let me take the power down again let me focus uh, around the signal so I'm going to start frequency of let's say 13.5 megahertz and a stop frequency of 14.5 megahertz right uh, so it's there and um, let me again go up with power to the maximum and uh, and so you see even um, the proximity of the signal basically the noise goes down very quickly and it's uh, actually um, you know 4 division down 40 db down so it's excellent and in fact uh, if I reduce the span even more at the moment it's 1 megahertz so let me reduce to let's say 300 kilohertz yeah it's uh, it's actually the noise uh, below the signal is about uh, as you can see 50 db down so let me take some average so we can have a look so yeah the the, the noise uh, is 50 db down compared to the to the signal we're emitting so that's absolutely excellent um, and so yeah this uh, uh, this solution this configuration akaref plus qrp labs 10 watts amplifier plus uh, qrp labs uh, 14 megahertz low pass filter is excellent it produced an excellent uh, excellent uh, signal and this by the way i forgot uh, earlier is uh, when we look at only a 40 kilohertz span <coughs> so as you can see here let me go uh, to sdr angel so let me reduce the power a bit um, and as you can see in the spectrum we see the typical shape of uh, a single tone uh, modulated in am right so the carrier in the middle and the two copies of the side tone on the, on the sides um, so at the moment we are at 21 dBm, if I increase it, uh, let's say, up to... Um, so as you can see here, we start to have these uh, non-linearities happening, so we are getting uh, uh, some uh, intermodulation products. So up to this level, we are at 33 dBm, which means 2 watts. Uh, these are still uh, about 20 dB below... Um, you know the the the, the side tones, uh, but if I go to the maximum, um, they grow quite significantly. So as you can see here, we start to get some significant linearities. Uh, it's not the end of the world, depending on what uh, what you do. But uh, yeah, let's say that uh, this is not uh, completely ideal. Um, uh, I would say that up to uh, something like this level. So 30, let's say, two, uh, up to 2 watts of power, uh, the, the amplification is very, very linear. So 2 watts, by the way, is 33 dBm. So let me try to hit that precisely. Uh, it appears like uh, it corresponds to 37 uh, dB here in this VGA configuration. And as you can see here, it's, uh, it's quite all right. Um, yeah, so that was, um, you know, a shot of the spectrum uh, in the proximity of the signal. But anyway, uh, these harmonics are not going to disturb other, other people in other channels, okay? So as you can see here, um, the, the distortion are in the channels you are transmitting in, and uh, outside this channel is not, uh, is not a big problem. I just want to mention another cool thing of the AKRF. Um, so basically um, here uh, as you can see I have this uh, red cable uh, coming out from the AKRF it's connected to pin 6 of the AKRF and it's, it's uh, going inside um, my oscilloscope so the oscilloscope before took a snapshot of at the time when the, the transmission started and as you can see the pin, uh, the pin 6 the yellow trace uh, uh, basically it's, th it's the same pin that controls by the way the transmission uh, led of the AKRF uh, basically it goes up uh, when the transmission starts but in fact a little bit earlier so here we have a 200 uh, microseconds 
so I don't want to spend time focusing on this monitor it never works properly <laughs> but uh, it believes me here we have about uh, 200 microseconds of uh, delay between when uh, uh, pin 6 emits the signal and when the transmission the RF transmission actually happens and this is great because I plan now to use this uh, basically to turn on and off uh, using a relay the, the, um, uh, the amplifier so basically my idea now is to realize a box uh, so the HRF goes inside the box and from the other side we have the antenna and so normally it works just as a straight connection between the antenna and the, the HRF when the HRF is receiving and when the HRF wants to transmit using this pin uh, basically the, re the relay will switch to transmit configuration will enable the amplifier so that will be basically a way to have in just one solution both receive and transmit uh, with uh, 10 watts of power so i'm extremely happy with this uh, and i think uh, it's possibly the lowest cost uh, configuration to do uh, ham radio yeah because uh, by the way the hrf is not just limited of course to morse uh, morse code cw am you can do all kinds of digital modes of course uh, it's an arbitrary software defined radio so it's uh it's really i'm very happy about this okay so that's all uh, for this video if you have any comments or questions please uh, please leave them um, behind and i'll see you next time bye bye